Okay, let's analyze what happened here. As I had previously stated, my opponent, my opponent had moved here. These four here to right here. So let's analyze what should be the smartest move now. So I have one here. Hmm, we'll get back to that later. I have seven here, seven here, six, six. What could be the smartest move? First, I have to look at my opponent's next move. So she has five right here. So she's going to get that right there. So one, one, two, three, four, five, which is going to leave one right here. So she's going to get that as well. So I need to know what the next move is going to be. More than likely, after she gets the five and the one from here, she's going to move this. This is going to be two. She's going to move this two to here. So I have nothing to worry about where taking my pieces are concerned. So right now I'm just going to play a little. What's I'm looking for? I'm just going to play a bit passive. Nothing too serious. So I'm just going to move this one right here. Because right now I need to see her next move. After she plays what I just said a while ago. However, I will probably move this. Um, I'll move this. Moving this now will allow for my for my cards or the amount of pieces that I have to increase. So when these increase now, I can easily so let's say for instance this six right here moves up to let's say a nine. I can potentially capture her pieces by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need to increase these two down here because there's no way that she's gonna capture my two pieces right here unless this number one of these numbers increase to a value of nine or greater so let's just see what happens next Guys, right now the aim of the game is self-preservation. So basically what you should be doing or should be aiming to do is keep as many pieces on your side as possible so that your opponent has to play a big card so that they have to release over your side. Because what is happening right now is that we do not have um, enough in our basket to really you know, finish the game so we have to try to prolong it as long as possible. So now we realize that right here that the opponent only has two plays that won't force them to put any um, tiles over our side. So what we do now is try to prolong their play. So seeing that they have two plays, we try to play in a way that we have three plays so that they have to bring over. Even if, because they can't bring over that two up the top, because if they bring up the two up the top, it's going to leave one for us to capture that 11, which wouldn't make any sense. So the most logical way is that they're going to play the two and the one down the bottom. But then all we have to do is play in a way that we still have more plays. So they have to bring over the tiles. That's just basically the aim of the game. As I said before, all we do right now is just play. They only have one more play and she just played it. So I'm just going to play mine and relax myself because the next play that she plays, I have to get tiles over my side. So watch this.
Yeah, so if you guys haven't realized by now, is that the fact that I have a 9 down the bottom right there that is untouchable. Because now since I'm not going to play that 9, that 9 is going to be unplayable. So now all I'm going to do is just play around it. So I don't have to play that 9. So at the end of the game, that 9 goes into my basket, which would help me overtake the opponent. At the end of the day, it all depends on your opponent. So they might make smarter decisions or dumber decisions. When you're playing a game for this long, it actually requires a lot of thinking. So you might make a lot of mistakes. So just try to limit the amount of mistakes that you're making and hopefully that will improve your game. I really hope this video helped.